So last night I was on a chat on Bro Sanchez's channel and they were talking about money and they were talking about racism because they were basically the topic had started out about Black Panther movie and um, there's a lot of talk about this Black Panther movie setting um, a shitty example for uh, black representation in film. I'm not going to talk about that. That's not why I'm talking about... It's not what I'm talking about today. The people in the chat were some of the most awakened people I've ever encountered in any chat, in any one group. Um, they were They were no trolls. They were easy to talk to. They understood the idea that we have to get out of the money system and people were so supportive and welcoming to each other and to the panelists and the panelists were some of the most awakened people and it was wonderful wonderful to see I've posted several videos talking about exiting the system, exiting the money system, exiting the so-called matrix. And I've talked about the Venus Project, and there are a lot of you who get it. And I am grateful for you. There are also a lot of people who don't get it, and that pisses me off. These so-called truthers who don't want to do anything, don't want to change anything, are happy with the status quo, happy with their shackles, happy with their prison, happy with their material shit, and continue with the way things are and argue for their fucking limitations. And not only do they argue for their own limitations, they argue for other people's limitations. Why is it that we wake up and realize that we live in a fucking prisoner of war camp. We're slaves. And people are begging for solutions. I get people asking me all the time, what are you going to do about it? Where's your solution? As if I should have all the answers because I have a fucking YouTube channel. And... These are usually people who are still stuck in the matrix or still not awakened. These people, they come up to me and say, oh, what are you doing to change the world? Are you fucking kidding me? These people who say that usually are doing nothing. They're not even awake. They're not even aware. They're not even researching the truth. These people who say, what are you doing? Why don't you take a look in the mirror and, fi and ask yourself that question? What are you doing? Why do you have to put it on everybody else? Why are you looking to everybody else to solve your goddamn problems? You're the one who has to save yourself. Everyone who refuses to change is looking for an easy out. They're looking to be saved by Jesus. They're looking to be saved by the government. They're looking to be saved by some YouTuber. They're looking to be saved by somebody else. And they want somebody else to do all the work. Meanwhile, they're going to go back to their slave job and watch TV, watch the Super Bowl, have a couple of beers, get shit-faced, and then go to work the next day and forget all about it because I still have to pay my bills. What difference does it make? What difference does any of this shit make, right? Why don't we all just give up? Because if this is the response we get, we're never going to get anywhere. Everything is just going to stay the fucking same. I'm not talking to you people anymore. The only people I'm going to talk to are the people who are awake. The people who get it. Because you're a waste of my breath. You're a waste of my time. You're a waste of my energy. You're so sucked into the system. You're so programmed by saying, well, they're not going to change, so I shouldn't have to. You're never going to get everybody to change, so I shouldn't have to. It's a cop-out. 
the only way you're going to change your own life is if you get off your ass and change your own life. See, the thing is, is that these people, they come to my channel, they listen to me talk about how Venus Project isn't a solution, and then they criticize me because I'm criticizing a project that is actually doing something to make things better, but it's not actually doing anything to make things better. It's a trap. It's a trap to lure you in into transhumanism. It's a trap to lure you into, into their system to solve your problems for you because you're too lazy to figure out for yourself that it's a trap. And so you blindly go along with it and support it because, hey, at least somebody's doing something. So you hop on the bandwagon. You get all involved in this trap. Whatever the solution might be, whatever the solution is of the day, and you hop on that bandwagon without thinking for yourself. And the whole fucking point of this is to think for yourself. But hey, let's go to the Venus Project. Let's support that because at least somebody's doing something. Because I don't want to do something. I want somebody else to do it for me. And I'm not even going to go and, and actually volunteer to help these people. I'm going to wait until it's done and then I'm just going to move my shit in. So yeah, I criticize the Venus Project because I see it for what it is. And then I get people criticizing me for that saying, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm exposing it for the fraud that it is. I'm telling you what's actually going on. What are you fucking doing? Sitting here watching YouTube videos, criticizing people for no good reason. Not thinking for yourself. Complaining. Getting people to do your work for you. And the work that you need to do is to open your eyes. Open your eyes and think for yourself. Same goes for Bitcoin. I see Bitcoin for the deception that it is, and it is not the solution. You want an easy out? Go right down that rabbit hole. It's your choice. But it isn't the answer. And the whole point of this whole experience that we're going through is that we're supposed to be able to detect the bullshit from the truth. Is that we're supposed to save ourselves. And the only reason that I'm on this YouTube channel talking about this stuff, trying to tell you what's going on for anyone who wants to listen is because I see stuff. And I would feel like I wasn't doing my job if I didn't tell you. And yeah, not everybody's going to see what I see. That's fine. That's fine. I can't make you see what I see. And I'm not going to say that I have the whole truth because I don't have the whole truth. But I know what I see. And if I don't tell people what I see, then that is on me. It's like if I don't tell you that there's a freaking murderer behind your back coming at you, then I'm just as bad as the murderer. It's like you guys wake up like you're in jail and they feed you poison and they, they, they drop asbestos from the ceiling and you're like well at least I have a bed to sleep in at least I don't have to pay for being in jail you will actually yeah you do you you're paying to be in jail you're paying to be killed you're paying to be poisoned and you're okay with that you find out that your children are being poisoned you find out that your parents are being poisoned and you're okay with that just because you don't want to use your own critical thinking skills that have been muted and, and atrophied over the years because you haven't used them in so long. You don't want to get them out of the dusty cupboard and start practicing using that muscle because you'd rather have somebody do it for you. You would rather go to your slave job that you hate, that you complain about every day, living for the weekend... Because it's easier. Then why are you searching for truth in the first place? Why don't you just put your blinders on, shut off the computer, and forget all about it? Because it obviously doesn't matter to you. None of this fucking matters to you. I run into truthers all the time who only go so far. They won't look at certain truths. They don't want to look at certain truths because it spoils their illusions. And so they deliberately stay blind to it, even though they know that if they look at it, it's going to shatter their illusions, and that's why they don't want to look at it. 
and these people who know the system is fucked, but they don't, don't, they don't want to dig deeper. They only go so far because if they dig any deeper, they'd have to feel guilty. They'd have to feel guilty that they're feeding the beast. They still focus on how much money they're making. They still focus on buying shit they don't need. They still focus on some career they have ambitions for. They still focus on all the materialistic bullshit crap that's chained them here. I don't understand how you can wake up to realizing that everything around you is a lie and yet continue to live the lie. You're just as bad as they are. But what are we going to do about it? Because if they don't change, if everybody doesn't change, what difference is it going to make if I change? (laughs) It's such fucked up logic. You have the power to change the entire world. You. By yourself. And you choose not to. You could get up and you could plant a garden, a vegetable garden in your backyard tomorrow. Maybe not in Canada because it's winter. But you could start planting some stuff in your house so that you can plant, plant it in the spring. You could stop buying shit you don't need, stop going to the mall, stop eating food that's bad for you, stop going to work so much, stop working overtime, change your job, spend more time with your family, be more spiritual, don't watch so much TV, raise your vibration, learn about alchemy. There are so many things that you can do to change this world. And the thing is, is that when you starve the beast, the beast dies. The only way to do that is to disengage, to pull away from the system, to stop participating in it, stop feeding it, stop feeding your energy to it. The thing that you have to do is work on yourself. It isn't about everybody else. It is about you. You have the power to change this world, and you don't even realize it. You're too concerned with everybody else. You got to give up your shit. And I don't mean literally put it away and live with nothing. I mean you have to detach from it emotionally and psychologically. It can't own you. You use it to serve a purpose when and as you need it, but it doesn't own you. Same with desires. This is the most important thing in your life because if you don't do these things you're gonna end up right back here and if that's okay for you fine this message is not for you but I don't understand how you can call yourself a truther and then throw up your hands in surrender and say there's nothing we can do about it I still have to pay my bills this is the whole argument that we have a problem with when we come to flat earth because people say what's What difference does it make? I still have to pay my bills. This argument pops up time and time again. So you argue for being a slave. I'm sorry, I don't have time to deal with the truth of this place because I am a slave and I have to get back to work. You like your shackles. I keep thinking about these movies like The Room and Life is Beautiful and I haven't seen either one of them, but the premise of them is the same. These people wake up realizing they're in jail or a prisoner of war camp, concentration camp, and they lie to their children to make them feel better about it. And then when they leave, they don't like it. They're terrified because they've never been outside. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to live. This is exactly where we are right now. But you would rather argue for your limitations. You would rather use other people's limitations as your own excuse. This is like you're looking to the system to kill the system. Do you know how fucked up that is? It's like I was listening to Subtle Infinity this morning. I didn't get to finish the video, but he was talking about this Black Panther movie and how people are saying that Hollywood is representing black people in Hollywood movies. Yay! Like he said, why are you looking to the the system 
to solve the problems of the system? Why do you care about Hollywood that doesn't give a shit about you? And what problem does that really solve? A fucking movie. It doesn't solve anything. It is fake candy-coated cure for nothing. It is a distraction. It is meant to make you feel better. Somebody somewhere is doing something about making me feel better about Hollywood's representation of black people in the movies. Now I can rest well at night. They created this racism, feminism, all the isms, everything that's about dividing people. They created this. They created it. Hollywood did. And now you're looking to them to solve the problem. This information is just, it is the only thing that matters. It's the only thing that matters. Because this is information that frees you. And nobody gives a shit. Do you seriously not give a shit? So I was watching Supernatural. And for those of you who are not familiar with Supernatural, it is a, I think it's on its 12th season or 13th season or something. And it's a story about these two brothers who go around hunting demons. Now, these are two people hunting demons in the world. And they never stop and say, what's the point? It's just the two of us. What can we do? What difference can we make? So-and-so isn't a demon hunter, so why should I be? They recognize their power. They recognize they can make a difference. They recognize this is their purpose, and they do it. It's a shitty life they have, and I realize this is a TV show. But my point is that there are just two of them, and they do not use that as an excuse to do nothing because they know they can do something, and they do it. You know you can do something, and you refuse to do it. That's cowardly. And these are easy things. But because it requires effort in changing your habits, in changing your life, you refuse to do it. Somebody hands you the golden key to get out of your prison and you say, no thanks, I'm quite comfortable in here. Well, if you're happy with that, great then just turn off the computer and go sit back down on your sofa and stop searching for truth. Be content with your prison and let it go. Stop poisoning other people with your laziness and your reluctance to change your own life because there are other people here who realize that they have the power to change this world and are going to do something about it.